all right so back with game two and like always if you guys do enjoy this video leave a like leave a comment and also subscribe if you have not already and if you guys can click an ad to help support the channel so if you haven't seen game one definitely go check that out um he does pretty much the same combo to start off with which is a pretty good combo um to just bounce back to grinder golem and just get two free tokens and grinder golem does not prohibit anything it's not once per turn so i think grinder golem actually may see uh, the, which was crazy but we may see grinder golem actually in competitive play uh you know that that wouldn't be the worst thing and i you know what i don't understand why he didn't do he could have just summoned that uh grinder golem in front of the link card and then like i wouldn't be able to you know use that as a link but <clears throat> anyways it didn't really matter because he's going into the uh to the uh, lord dragon loud dragon and he's going into the loud dragon which is a uh, link for cannot be targeted once again with i mean if you guys haven't seen game one definitely go check that out but yeah it can't be targeted and it reduces some shit by 500 and then with it attacks it takes a monster so uh <clears throat> i draw for my turn gold sash i'm like all right so we can combat maxi because you know, if you guys have been watching any of my duels lately, man, Maxi is like the best card. I guess the only card that's at 40 because everybody seems to want to fucking draw it every goddamn turn. So I tried to start off with a Sage, but as you can see, it got met with a Solemn Warning. And I'm like, damn, all right. Uh, my hand is very good. All I need really to make this hand even better is you guys already know the Ritual Revenge at Slayer. That would make this hand very good. But what I was going to start off with, I was thinking right there, could I dump a Revenge Edge Slayer and try to use it? But like I said, man, we got warning, so it didn't really uh, matter. Uh, right here is a pretty strange play. He just takes it for no reason. Um, I have no clue. And then uh, the protocol that's back there needs another Alter guy. So I'm not really worried about that card because as of right now, he doesn't have another Alter guy. But like I said, he just attacked and took my grind golem for no reason. Didn't really do anything. Uh, and then, ends his turn. Uh, I draw into Revenge Red Slayer. So I'm like, all right, here we go. I can send Smith. Then I can banish both. Drop the Revenge Red Slayer. Get the Smith back. Bam, I can get a search. Uh, nope, stop all that in the damn tracks. So here, <clears throat> I got to go with the with the backup plan, which is just go and start as Charge Warrior. And then be able to use Revenge Red Slayer to go into a level 8. I can go Crystal Wing. I can go Scarlet. I can go Omega. I can do any one of those plays. He activated the Maxi, but no. I have the Ghost Ash. And man, you guys don't understand how many times I don't got Maxi playing this goddamn game, man. It's just, it's, it's, it forced me to play Ghost Ash. Um, you know, if you guys, like I said, if you guys vouch for my channel, you guys know I don't really play too many hand traps. I don't really like too many hand traps uh i definitely don't like maxi but i mean sometimes you just gotta play it but like i said here i'm pretty much setting up the combo for next turn and for right now so i end up getting a draw drawn to a mizuki and i'm like yes let's go that's actually pretty pretty freaking good so <clears throat> use the revenge the revenge revenge let me get that right revenge red origin to go ahead and banish solitaire and spectral so, and yeah if you guys hear me say sage that's the old name of solitaire that's why i keep saying it because um that, that's what i'm used to so end up banishing both of those and so right here i'm thinking all right i can either go to a link monster um or i can go in a scarlight um blow the board and then like i said get a search from revenge red slayer i'm gonna go crystal wing all right you know i'm not really thinking omega it's either deco talker Scarlight or Crystal Wing, one of the three, um, because I, I have a burial in my hand. So with the burial being in my hand, I could uh, get another. Uh, what's the name? Actually, yeah, actually no, I couldn't. Couldn't do what I think. I don't know if I went to a Deco Talker, I could have did. I could have went Shogun Saga and stuff like that by uh, just getting another Revenge Red and stuff like. That's what I was thinking about. So yeah, if I was going to go into a, a Deco Talker, I would have pretty much been good. Um, but I decided to go Scarlight because I'm thinking, hmm, everything's under 3,000. I can blow him with 15 and then end up going Shogun Saga and attack for game because then he'll be at 45 and then I can just banish the Slayer and it'll be at, uh, what's the name? It'll be at 54. But he does a smart play. He reduces my Scarlight to 2,500 and he reduces my Scarlight for 20 to 2,500. So now I can't pop it. Now I can't pop it um, with his effect. So that pretty much sucks. It kind of really fucked. It really fucked up my place. Not kind of, but it really did fuck up my place. So as you can see right here, I'm contemplating, do I want to do it? Because I can just get rid of the Mizuki in the hand and something out of the graveyard. But 
I end up actually going in, against it because I was like, there's not really too much I can do. Like I said, I would have to link summon and sending a Scarlight, a Revenge Red Slayer that's not going to replace itself. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, what's now Revenge Red Slayer that's not going to replace itself because I've already used the, uh, the effect that turn. I didn't think it was going to be too good of a play. So I end up, end up ending my turn. And as you can see, he summons an Outer Guy card, Outer Guy's card and sets another protocol. So I finally read it and it says once per turn. So I'm like, all right, we need to bait, we need to bait the back row. Like I can see, I'm check my graveyard to see what I got. I need to bait the back row because he could just send, uh, like I say, he has a free negation. I just need to bait it and then we can do some good stuff after that. So I'm not really scared of the link because like I said, we do run Shogun Saga. Top deck into a Gozuki. And I'm like, yes, let's go. Uh, I can summon Gozuki, and I'm pretty sure he's going to negate because, I mean, it's Gozuki. It's a pretty good-ass card. <laughs> so he ends up taking the bait and actually using protocol to negate it. Um, like I said, man, I, he, he took the bait, not me. Uh, <laughs> and, and so I get to use Gozuki. And once again, Ghost Ash, I mean, Ash Blossom coming. I don't know why I keep calling it Ghost Ash, but Ash Blossom once again come in handy because it's a zombie. We can actually use it for Gozuki's effect, especially summon a free Mizuki. And come to think about it, why did he take my Scarlight and link it? Is, does it have to be linked? I don't know. He, he's he's not playing the smartest because he's putting a lot of cards in his link, his uh his uh, uh what's the name his link zones. So end up using uh wait what is that what did I do? Okay no <laughs> end up using Spectral Sword. I completely didn't see what I did. Using Spectral Sword, banishing the I believe the one. That's not summonable, Revenge Red Slayer. You get, I mean, I, I can't really tell on here, but the one that's not uh, summonable, I end up. Uh, I mean, the one that wasn't properly summoned already, I end up. Uh, su I mean, using that one. And here I'm checking my grave to see if I can. Uh, what's the name? Origin, or should I burial first? I'm really trying to get the Mizuki back in the grave, but I don't think it's. Uh, I don't think it's actually possible because, uh, like I said, we will have to use everything as a link. Um, but <clears throat> so I end up doing it anyway. So I'm like, fuck it. You know, I got to put something on the board. Um, sadly, we don't have any link. I mean, we don't have any uh, link twos I can go into that gives me something good. Activate the young burial. So I can't I can't get the maximum. I guess the maximum shit off of uh, Gozuki and stuff. So I end up returning uh, solitaire, Unizombie and a Mizuki. So I can go into my synchro plays and stuff like that. Uh, so right now we're just gonna go straight into the battle phase and the reason I kept spectral, spectral sword banish is because when Shogun Saga is, would, would die I can just go ahead and just you know bring it back and stuff like that so here I get them I get the Unizombie for like literally no reason I was not supposed to do this right now because like if he has a mirror force or something to stop everything I got going on like it, it's just gonna be it's gonna be a very big problem so end up attacking into his loud dragon and surprisingly this back row is not even anything so yeah i get over that attack over um scarlight because once again slayer's effect actually wait am i gonna ban a spectral sword because that'd be actually a good play i think i do banish uh not not spectral sword but i think i do banish okay so i do banish solitaire and then i can get to use his effect to bring that back all right so uh <laughs> that that's pretty good i i totally forgot about that play so I end up going uh spectral sword and here I'm thinking, all right, we can go Sun Saga, or we can go Link Four. But I think I knew I was going to go Sun Saga, so I can pop his back row. And then I believe I have a Mizuki in the grave. So with the goes with the Mizuki, uh, actually no, we can't do what I think I was going to talk about. Uh, we're going to put this back. I don't know what that even does. Camouflage. It, it doesn't. I think it protects some shit or something. I don't know. Uh, I end up just popping that because my whole I popped a monster because the whole thing. Was I going to use, uh, I, this This is actually the worst thing I've ever seen happen. Uh, right now, I'm going to go into a link. <laughs> Using Sun Saga, which is clearly better than any link uh, can possibly be. Um, but the whole thing was to get the uh, Revenge Red Slayer in the graveyard and redump the Hound. Because I do have a Mizuki in the graveyard. And so with that, we can get the Hound out. And then we could uh, use Revenge Red Slayer, and so now uh, the uh, what, now our Revenge Red Slayer cannot, I mean, only cannot be destroyed by battle, not no, not, cannot be destroyed by card effects, and also uh, it can uh, banish spells and traps, and that's pretty good. So not pretty good, but that's pretty much my whole thing because 
that outer guy that protocol you know negates and destroys so that's really a problem and then like if you top deck something to set he's not going to be able to do it so <clears throat> yeah he ends up drawing and i believe he ends up surrendering if i'm not mistaken i think he does so yeah that was it of that and here is the deck list for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy it and stuff like that leave your comments below let me know what changes you think i should make to this deck uh, i know one thing i am going to do i'm definitely going to be adding the vendred trap because i definitely want to see how good it is in this deck and i feel like that card is really really good a lot of people are sleeping on it but i really feel like it's a really good card so you guys let me know uh what type of changes you would like to see to this deck and stuff like that and yeah that is it for today uh, thank you guys for watching.